I'm Rachel Whitaker, sports writer at the Lake Charles American Press, and welcome to the first edition of Prep Spotlight here on AmericanPress.com. Today I sat down with St. Louis head soccer coach Jason Ertling and three of his senior players to talk about the Saints 13-0 start to this season. The Saints are two-time Division II state champions and they'll try to extend their winning streak this weekend when, when the team hosts the St. Louis Soccer Showcase. First of all, sitting here at 13-0 and 0 so far this season, um, what would you say has been the, the hallmark of your team so far this season? Well, we always pride ourselves on defense and, uh, you know, I don't think we've ever had a group this that's been so competitive defensively on that end with, you know, 13 games. I know there's not a lot of high scoring games in soccer, but yet it's still a great feat when you can play 13 games and only allow four goals uh, during that time period. So we're very proud of that accomplishment, but, uh, but we want to keep it going too. Is this team, do you think, better than, better than last year's state championship team, or how would you compare the, the two? It's, it's hard to compare uh, the two. Most of this team is actually you know, is coming back from last year's group, so I'd like to think that eventually towards the end of the season, uh, you know, we're going to even hopefully surpass last year's accomplishments. I think uh, you know, it's a gradual process, and it's, you know, even though we're 13-0, and 0, we can still play so much better, and, and we're, not, we're not as good as we were at the end of the year last year, but I think if they keep on working hard, we're going to be even better by the end of the year. And uh, two-time defending state champions and eight total state championships in St. Louis boys soccer history. Talk about the, the tradition of the boys soccer team. It's just something that, that we're all proud of. I think it's also something that, that really pushes uh, the kids of this year's team. You know, just like last year's team, they all, they all want their, their uh, soccer ball on the, on the billboard outside that recognizes all the national uh, rankings and the state championships and, and they feel like if uh, you know, we do anything less then uh, you know, we're not living up to the, to the standards that we've kind of established. It's, it's kind of tough sometimes because you know, uh, you know, if we don't win a state championship sometimes people see it as being a failure but uh, the great thing is you know, we've won those two state championships the last couple of years but more importantly uh, the teams come together, they've been great uh, you know, great camaraderie, and I think they're going to grow up and to be great young men, and uh, that's the thing I'm even more proud of than the state championships. And uh, talk about that team chemistry. Um, do you have a lot of depth this this year? That we have probably one of the deepest teams that we've ever had as far as uh, depth. Uh, we have uh, 16 seniors, which is the biggest group of seniors that we've ever had for soccer. You know, you're usually lucky if you can have nine or ten, and, and we have uh, 16 this year. So depth-wise, I feel like uh, we have a lot of people that we can put out there on the on the field. I feel like uh, our depth also, you know, our our style of soccer, uh, you know, is something that I want as a coach. I want to enjoy watching it. So we are very fast-paced, very up and down, and uh, and in turn that usually wears out that other team by the the last 20 or 30 minutes of the game they're usually huffing and puffing and we're still subbing kids going in and out and, and just taking it to them. And um, having, having won the past two state championships you've beaten the same opponent in uh, Van Vanderbilt Catholic. Um, talk about being able to get the best of them for two years in a row. <laughs> well it, it's been it's been tough, you know, even though we've come out on top, uh, we have a lot of respect for their program and, and you know, before we moved up to Division Two, they kind of owned Division Two, uh, you know, and they have seven state championships of their own, so not only was it, was it great to, to defeat a, a great opponent, but it was also uh, last year was kind of special because uh, because I gave us eight, and, and they they're still stuck at seven. So uh, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna do our best to try to keep them stuck at seven. Right, right. Maybe get you guys nine this That's year. It. And um, lastly, just uh, talk about obviously planning to get every opponent's best shot. You know, at, at you guys this year, trying to knock off the state champs. How are you preparing your team to face? every opponent's best shot? Well, I think, uh, you know, I, I know the guys don't like it every day at practice because I am tough on them, you know, even though we're 13-0 and, and uh, 
uh, and like I said, having, uh, having given up too many goals along the way, um, you know, you can ask them. We're, we're practicing harder and I'm getting on them even more than I did the, the first day of practice because I just think that uh, if we can if we can kind of give them that environment and practice and make sure that we push them to their limits, then the games are fun. We know that we're going to get the best shot of everybody, but if our practices are even more difficult than the games, and the games can just be relaxing and easy and, and just get after it, even though they're giving us their best, we know that our best is, is better if we, uh, you know, if we continue to work hard. What would it take for an opponent to beat you this year? I think uh, with this group, I, I really do think they, they're such a special group, the only thing that's going to stop them is, is ourselves. You know, I think that uh, as long as their head's on straight and as long as they keep working hard and, and working together, um, you know, and we keep on having, you know, with those 16 seniors, if, if we can get some real strong leaders to emerge, I think that uh, the sky's the limit. So, uh, so as far as you know how to beat us. You know we're not going to dwell on that because we feel like if we take care of ourselves, then then we have a great chance uh, in, with anybody that we play. All right. All right. St. Louis's group of 16 seniors knows what it feels like to win a state championship. As three of those seniors told me, it's important for them to maintain level heads as they go for a three-peat this season. 16 seniors. That's really it really helps y'all yeah. um, just talk about having so many of y'all and how y'all are able to lead some of the underclass. It's just like they, they look up to us and as when we play our co coach when we get tired he puts in another six and then puts another front six and it's just like teams teams look at our, look at the sideline and say like where, where are these kids coming from like they just keep coming at us and coach coach wants us to be a, a bus all this year and so he just put, keeps putting us in so we can wear teams down yeah. until they can't go anymore. Yeah. And uh, Coach was talking about how y'all really pride yourselves on, on defense. Talk about y'all's approach to, to defense as a team. I mean, every game we go out there, we just we want to shut out every team. We honestly want to shut out every team out there. When we get scored on, I mean, I get really upset. I hope my teammates do too, but I just, I don't know. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I, I hate getting scored on. Yeah. Yeah, and 13-0 uh, so far this year, entering, entering the start of the season, did you think that a start like this was something that y'all would be capable of? I mean, yeah, I did, actually. I mean, I, I saw it. If we, if we played to how we could play at the beginning of the year, I had no doubt in my mind that we could, we could beat anyone. But, I mean, like Coach said, if ourselves are the only thing that can, that can hurt us, like if we bring each other down, then that's the only thing that I could, the only way I could see us losing. And um, in the past two state state championships, beating the the same team in um, Vanderbilt, what was it like to to beat them for the second time last year? Uh, it was an amazing feeling knowing that we've beaten them two years in a row, and last year we weren't seen as the better team, but in the end we proved it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, obviously coming in this year and with that, you know, having having one two straight titles. What do you see as the biggest challenge that you guys are going to have to face this year? Uh, just keeping our heads on straight and trying not to get too cocky and just playing the best that we can every game. In other prep sports news, District 3-5A basketball play has begun and several holiday tournaments are in full swing as well. Pick up an American Press print edition daily for an exclusive look at prep schedules and in-depth coverage of prep sports in the Lake Area. And, and our Prep Spotlight show will air every Friday on AmericanPress.com and include features and highlights of prep sports in the Lake Area. For now, from St. Louis Catholic High School, I'm Rachel Whitaker.